everybody. Welcome to Now You're Cooking with Natural Gas. I'm Jenna, along with Chef Adam here. Thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Yeah, and we're actually standing outside the Northwest Natural Appliance Center in Southeast Portland. And you actually work for Evo, and this is an Evo grill, which mm -hmm. I love. I love this grill. Um, <laughs> and we're already starting to cook. So this is the fish um, in the middle of the grill. And sure. then we're actually going to show how versatile the grill is. Absolutely. because. You can do all kinds of things. Oh yeah, this is an Evo flat top grill and mm -hmm. it's slightly convex so if I had fish over here and vegetables and fruit that I'm going to do over here, the yeah. flavors won't intermingle so you can do multiple things at the same oh, time. Yeah. That's great. So today I'm going to be doing a grilled tomato and watermelon salad to accompany my fish and I'm just going to so place the it. the salty and the sweet. Oh yeah. Can I help? Go ahead. All place right. it right on the cook surface. And which, uh, what temperature is this on the outside? The outside here? temperature is around 300, 350. Okay. And all we're doing is we're, we're cooking the fruit and the tomatoes to bring out their natural sugars. Yeah. And to actually uh, heighten the flavors that you normally get when it's, when it's cold, but we're going to grill them. Whoa! Hey, <laughs> see that convex. <laughs> nice so, and smooth surface that we have here. Absolutely. And I'm just going to put a little bit of salt. So there's no oil or anything on the... No oil okay. on the cook surface. Okay. So the cook surface is 3 16th mild steel. Okay. And it reacts just like a, a cast iron pan would. Yeah. And then you, you treat it just the same way. You don't throw water on it. You actually clean it with a um, cleaning kit, which has a pad mm -hmm. and a little bit of oil. And that's it. And it's so easy to clean and maintain that Perfect. even this cook surface has that beautiful black patina like a cast iron pan. Um, and the cook surface is probably about five years old. Oh, wow. Yeah, this so, looks great for oh, being yeah. five years old. Okay. Oh, it lasts. Um, so we, so there's an inner ring and an outer ring Absolutely. on this. You have dual cooking zones that you can, you can interchange. You have an inner zone and an outer zone. So you can sear from the middle and pull to the outside. Mm -hmm. Or I can create an oven with the hood that comes on right. top. So it just depends on how many people you're cooking for and what you're cooking. Right. Uh, a couple things. So this is actually known as the social grill, which is fantastic because a lot of times you kind of grill like this when you're absolutely. when you have people over for dinner, and this way you can actually talk with them, and people can come up and maybe help sure. you cook. Absolutely, it's safer so, because you, you know I'm a mom and I don't like the open <laughs> flame. What do I do? Should I flip something? Start flipping the tomatoes. You don't have to cook them very long. We're just gonna yeah. How long on each side? Uh, about a minute, maybe two, depending on the thickness of it. And you can okay. cut your your watermelon or tomatoes into triangles or slabs or batons, whatever you want wow. to dress up your plate. But you notice that you're getting a little bit of caramelization <laughs> on the outside. Don't worry about this one. And there we go. <laughs> he's going to run away. He's, he's going rogue on me. <laughs> <laughs> and what we'll do is after uh, the tomatoes and watermelons a little bit seared off, we're going to stack them on a plate. Uh, put a little balsamic vinegar, olive oil, a little sea salt maybe, or chili powder, um, and fresh basil. And it is mm. fresh. Um, you can put some cheese on top of it if you'd like, blue cheese or goat cheese. So but look how beautiful this is. Yeah. It's so gorgeous. And making me hungry, as always. That's not a, a long let's journey see. for me. But let's go ahead and plate these up. Okay, so does it matter? So one after yeah, another? Yeah, one after another. Wow. Maybe put one more piece of tomato on there, and there you go. Beautiful. And let's... Uh, Dress it up a little bit, put a little bit of fresh basil on it. Yum. Why don't you hold that for me? Absolutely. A little bit of balsamic vinegar. My favorites. Some extra virgin olive oil. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks fantastic. And then, gotta have the cheese. Gotta have some Absolutely. cheese. A little bit of goat cheese just to finish it off. Okay. And, and there you go. What about the fish? Well, this is like an accompaniment for the fish, okay. but, uh, you know. Should I try and plate it? Sure. Oh, gosh. <laughs> There you go. There Isn't we that go. beautiful? Lovely. Why not? Gorgeous. All right, Chef Adam with Evo, thank you so much for being with us today. We Pleasure. really appreciate it. And thank you for joining us. Join us next time for Now You're Cooking with Natural Gas. For more information on the Evo grill or for the recipes, go to nwnatural.com.